With faces covered, protesters hurled missiles at police on the streets of the Peruvian capital. They, in turn, fired tear gas back. The demonstration spread to Lima on Thursday with injuries on both sides. As thousands poured into the city, many from remote Andean regions, demanding the resignation of President Dina Boluarte. The disturbances forced members of the public to flee the burning tear gas while tanks waited on standby. A los que están marchando. To those who are protesting daily, who is financing you? Why are you not working and what money are you bringing to your homes? What you want to do is create chaos and disorder and amid that chaos and disorder take over the control of the country. The protests began weeks ago after President Boluarte was sworn in on December the 7th following the arrest and impeachment of her predecessor, Pedro Castillo. He was ousted after announcing plans to dissolve Congress and install an emergency government. But until the past few days, the protests have focused further south, with more than 50 killed in violent clashes. Among the affected areas, the city of Arequipa, which has again become the focus for demonstrations, with the two sides divided by makeshift blockades. And in the Cusco region, operations were suspended at one of the country's largest copper mines on Friday after protesters attacked the premises for the third time this month. But the focus shifting to the capital marks a new phase in the dissent, prompting the president to vow to get tough on those she called vandals after an unexplained fire at one of Lima's most historic buildings lit up the night sky. But it seems little will stop the protesters until she resigns and fresh elections are called. Emma Birchley, Sky News.